Hello and welcome. This is Stacker 2020. And today I'm going to be talking about specific gravity testing. This is a follow on from my last video, which was about testing gold and silver for fakes. I will leave a link up here now for you. Um, uh, this is a, a, a more in depth sort of test for your precious metals. And this is actually going to tell you what the composition of them is. Now, this test really isn't for sort of your collectibles. This is really for bullion testing. You don't, because you're going to get it wet and you need to dry it afterwards, which can leave tiny, tiny abrasions. Um, you know, you, you don't want that on a collector coin. So I really wouldn't advise this uh, for anything with any numismatic value. And likewise, you can't really do this for slab coins just because they are encased in the plastic. Um, the plastic totally throws off the results so you don't need too much for a specific gravity test uh, you need a good pair of scales which weighs to 0 0.00 um, that's quite important you need some string i've just used dental floss here um, you need a cup and some water so very very basic and uh, and a calculator helps as well but i guess we've all got calculators on our phones these days anyway and this test can be used for larger weights you just need a bigger scales bigger pots you know bigger string <laughs> all of those sorts of things basically everything just a little bit bigger if you're going to be um, weighing heavier weights so what i've got here is a little table which we're going to fill out um, i thought today we would check out some 24 karat gold 22 karat gold 100 percent silver sterling silver 925 um, platinum and i'm not going to test any copper but i have put the copper um, specific gravity here and it's just basically i wanted to, to explain for example with the 22 karat gold you see it has quite a wide range from 17.44 to 18.24 and that's basically going to depend on the what metal it's been alloyed with so if it's if it's the gold 24 karat gold has been mixed with the copper you'd expect to be at the lower end and if it's been mixed with silver which has a higher specific gravity uh, than the copper you'd expect it to be at the higher end so that's why you have quite a range there and um and as you can see there you know the platinum is heavier than the gold and the gold is heavier than the silver so we're going to test all of that so what i'm going to do is i weigh all of these up now and i'll jot that down here and then we'll uh, start doing the weight in water so i'm going to do that set up for the next stage i'll see you guys in a moment so i'm back and i have weighed everything up dry I've then weighed it in the water, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. And then I've worked out what the specific gravities are of everything by dividing the dry weight by the weight in water. So I'm just going to demonstrate exactly how we do that. You basically make sure that the water and the cup are zeroed out on the scale. Then you just want to take it, make sure your coin is as stable as possible and actually secure in your string. Um, and then you want to minimize, go in relatively slowly and minimize the movement uh, because it will sort of change the, the figure on the scales or start to fluctuate a bit. So as stable and still as you can. And you want to get it just under the water. And as we see there, it's stabilized at 2.97, uh, which is what I've got down here. So as I said, I have gone through and done this with all of the coins. Um, I've worked out what they weighed in the water. I've divided everything and uh, just seen what I've got. So as we see here within the ranges, so the platinum came in at 2136 instead of 45, but that I just gave the median range there. There is a slight range for platinum. Um, again, with the 925 silver, we fell perfectly within the range, within the 100% silver, perfectly within the range. Um, the 22 karat gold, I made a mistake and I hadn't zeroed out, so I had to do it again because my results came out. It's quite strange, but once I redid it, I came in at 1736, so definitely the, you know, within acceptable difference, I would say. Um, you allow normally with this sort of test a 1% one, 1 range of difference. So that fits in fine. And again, with this one, it's a little bit over, but within that 1% of uh, difference. So that's literally all you have to do, guys. You just tie up your, your coin, weigh it dry, put your water, make sure once you submerge it that it's not touching the sides or bottom. 
and then divide the two to give your specific gravity. Now the ranges of all precious metals you can find very easily online. Um, and yeah, as I said, this is really a great test for finding the composition. The one thing I will say is with gold, with 24 karat gold, um, tungsten is a metal which is used for counterfeits and has a very similar um, specific gravity, just a little bit low. I believe it's something around 19.4 or 19.3. So can um, give some some quite interesting results when it comes to fakes and can be a bit harder to spot. Um, so that is one thing that is uh, used a lot for making fake gold bars. Um, so gold bars for me, as I said, I do have that 150 gram, but I'm personally, I think I'm going to get rid of it um, and, and convert to, to coins that I am stacking already. So guys, there you go. That's just one more way of testing your precious metals to see if they're fake. Um, it doesn't take a lot. You know, as I said, you can pick up these scales for around 10 euros on Amazon or eBay. And um, you do want one that weighs to 0 0.00 of a gram. Um, and other than that, I mean, it's really basic stuff. A cup of water, um, a, a calculator and a bit of string. Um, now, if you are going to be collecting larger weights, um, this does work, but I would... You know, we're talking then you're going to be stacking more value. I think possibly, you know, there is a, a, a point where it, it is makes sense to get a Sigma verifier or some other, you know, electronic um, scanning verifier. Uh, because if you're doing a, a lot of weights, you know, doing this repeatedly for hundreds and hundreds of coins um, is extremely tedious. And the whole process can be done in the snap of a finger with a Sigma verifier. Um, so yeah, so that's my advice, guys. But, you know, I really do think it's something that everybody should have a go at try it make sure that you're getting the right results and that your technique is correct um, because it really does it tells you what is what you know what's actually inside your coin so there you go guys be safe make sure that you're checking all of your gold your silver your platinum all your precious metals uh, to make sure that you're not getting scammed out there thank you so much if you've been watching if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so you all take care have a lovely day and bye bye